All right, welcome to Test Chamber. I'm I'm Tim Turry, joined here by by Dan Tack, and we just kicked things off with a little arm wrestling. Good game there, Dan. Good game. Uh, so this is this is Monster Hunter Four Ultimate for the 3DS. We are gonna go through a hunt here uh, and show off a little bit of, like the multiplayer. Uh, but first, we got to eat up. Um, so Dan and I are both new to just Dragon Quest in general as far as like this is the first time I think both of us have given it like a real college try yeah would you I would agree that's absolutely this is my first time with the series at all okay I, I played I played try a little bit um, but I didn't it didn't really click as well with me um, but yeah I just kind of want to explain what we're doing here so we just ate because we got buffs for, by eating we accepted a quest up here to fight uh, uh, Lagambi or something like that um, and then we're going to dive into the hunt here. We just we already checked to make sure all of our items were were hunky dory. Make sure we have all the traps we need because you go for the capture, right? I mean, I, I don't unless it's a capture mission. Usually, really, I, I think you get more resources, you do. or at least different resources. So I always go for the capture. So maybe we can try that this time. I'm actually wearing a trapper outfit right now. And we got. I'll grab the first two of everything. You grab the, the second two. Oh, okay, I screwed up on the. Uh, that's the okay. Uh, so. Yeah, you're seeing Dan's uh, gameplay up there. All right, so it's not going to be very interesting, actually, because you're going to see me trying to hide and shoot. Yeah, so we well... Like, I mean, if I'm in the face of the monster, we're in trouble. Everyone will see a good view of me swinging through the air with my hammer. Uh, first things first, since this is a, uh, a cold zone, cold climate, we have to eat. We have to drink our hot drink. That's right. Which will stop our, uh, I think, our stamina Stam drain. from, from yeah. draining too quickly. And I'm going to quick equip a paintball because first thing we do when we see that monster, we're going to want to take it so we can track it through the zones. Um, so this is this game's been about get, been out officially about a week or so. Or did it come out on Friday? No, nah, it's like uh, a week. It's been know. maybe about yeah, a week. Friday. It came on Friday. I can't remember because I had it uh, ahead of time for review purposes, and I've pumped uh, well above like sixty hours into it, which is, I mean, people end up playing. You never talk to anyone that's played just like ah, oh, you know, I, I played about thirty hours of Monster Hunter, and I'm good. I love it, but I'm I'm all set. Uh, oh, this is like the weird bunny thing. Okay, okay. yeah. He slides around everywhere. Right. I remember this guy. I'm gonna take it. Uh, but anyway, I've been having a really good time with it. Uh, and okay, so we got this guy. Um, one of the new things in the game, I'm gonna try to do this yeah, if do. I can, is uh, to mount the guy. Um, if you jump, if you run off of uh, any ledge, you actually can fly through the air and do like a, a leaping attack and mount the guy. Uh, I, there's a chance you can mount him, uh, and then you kind of rodeo them and. It's absolutely critical. Like, if you complete the rodeo, you get, oh, God. Oh, God. You get tons of, like, uh, uptime on the boss, like, when he's down. Yeah. And you can also break off critical pieces that way easier, too, I find. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to lure him over here. Dan, you want to come over by me? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll try to pull some of his I'm trying aggro to, like, run away and, and just shoot. That's... All right. I'm just getting in there. So I've been using the hammer. Dan likes the... I'm using the heavy longbow, so I stay away and shoot. Oof. And it has a it has a long setup time, but heavy damage. And if I get if I can if we can successfully uh, rodeo this guy and get him in a position where I can right. unload, I set an a I set a trap on him that may allow me to uh, to jump on him. Actually, it was an accident, but uh, it actually might work considering the position here. So what we're gonna try to do is get this guy to a point where he's like drooling and limping and and beat the hell out of him that way, and then maybe try to give him a. Yeah, my, stuck in a trap. My armor will actually detect when he's trappable. Yeah. So, um, if if you're wondering who these other little critters are, we got a couple palicos, which are our AI kitty companions, which are super helpful. Uh, I, yeah. When you're when you're alone, so yeah. Especially these guys are. They got Mario. Out, mine has Mario. Yes. Out there. I imagine that that they are specifically helpful for you, Dan, as a as a ranged yeah, oh, yeah. guy. Like you really need someone to take keep, its attention, keep some of the heat off you. Like if I get hit, I'm dead real fast. So. Uh, I like to stay out of it and just barrage them with ammunition. Seems like a smart call. I have siege mode available in this weapon, which is really cool, but I won't want to do it when he's in a position where we can... Okay. Mode. Oh, I didn't rodeo. Oh, I did rodeo. All right, so lay off. You, you did? Oh. Yeah, I'm on him. I didn't see the message there until just now. So I got a little uh, mini game going on right now. There's this uh, meter that I'm trying to fill up by tapping on the attack button, but when he starts to buck around, I have to kind of hang tight. And I'm waiting for it to fall down because when it does, I can unload with siege mode. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm on like an auto fire mode where I can just unload piercing shot level two on it. It's just like it's going to destroy him. 
Dan, I think we're beating the hell out of this guy. So like the damage being done to him right now is insane. All right, so let's see if he's limping yet, just so we don't accidentally kill him. No, Maybe. no, we won't. Like I said, my, my armor will activate. I, I'll oh, get like okay. an indicator that says, whoa, 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 he's trappable. And sometimes when you're fighting monsters here, uh, a piece of, uh, you know, gear of, of materials will... Uh, yeah, break off. Will break off, um, which is important. Yeah, they can make the fights a lot easier, plus it's extra materials. Right, exactly. Yeah, and sometimes they'll change, yeah, they'll change their tactics, you know, if a, one of the, if you're fighting a wyvern that has a crazy tail attack, you know, that's gonna, gonna take that out of the equation. Um, oh, get out of the way. So, again, we're, we're talking with some familiarity about this game, but really, if, if you've, if you're not incredibly familiar with Monster Hunter, what you need to know is the rhythm is going and fighting a bunch of big monsters, Stripping their body of all of their their personal bits and using that to make armor and weapons, and then go fight bigger monsters, preferably with friends. Yeah, that's, it's, it's all about completing full sets. Yeah, um, exactly. That's how you get the best uh, the best boosts. Like you know, I have I have some boosts that when the the monster entered rage mode there before when it became frenzied, part of my armor started glowing and I actually got buffs. Like my health went up and my attack goes up and stuff. Um, or you might have uh, a gear that's that favors. Um, Actually, you know what? We can use this opportunity to kind of, like, heal up. Yeah, I'm, I'm in good shape. Okay, I'm going to take another potion here. Um, so basically, what we're trying to do is work together to uh, to wound this guy to a point that we can set a trap, uh, and then he'll get trapped in the trap, and then I'll throw a couple tranquilizer balls at him, which will hopefully um, put him out of commission. Yeah, or we can kill him. This is theoretically a kill quest, but we get more for capturing. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I think there's something really satisfying about pulling off a good capture uh but we are doing something here where it's like we're kind of fighting him on the threshold of another zone which can be you kind get of knocked into it but sometimes it can help you that's true that is true like if you get hit by a major attack and need to heal it can be yeah. fortuitous yeah i'm gonna try to bring him in here a little bit um a little deeper into the zone uh I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can explain. Okay, so I'm playing this on there's 3ds. What's going on here? <laughs> I got a. Uh, I have a. Th actually, I have a one of the new 3ds's here. Um, so I'm using the other analog nub, which is super helpful for keeping an eye on him while I'm, uh, you know, running circles around him and 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 what have you. Um, it's been a real game changer for me. But there are some tools in in your uh in your arsenal there for for keeping a track on them you can you can kind of lock the yeah, camera the on lock them. on and l button is essential for me with yeah the c stick yep okay he's limping all right so let's lay off uh i'm gonna look for my trap i have a pitfall trap i'm gonna set it right here i think he's gonna walk right into it i think he's leaving the leaving the zone all right heads up heads up he's leaving on, the please, zone. please 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 set please set just wait for, oh wait for no the next zone. wait for the next hold on, zone. Hold on. Do you have a trap? No, I, didn't. All right. I did not bring it. We gotta traps. kill this guy. Oh no, you only had one? I, I actually set the, the other one earlier. Maybe oh. we can we might have enough time to do another hunt or at least part of one. Um He's gonna die so fast. Oh uh, yeah, he's he's gonna die pretty badly. So yeah, I, I think we should maybe try to fight a bigger monster after this, considering uh, this is a, this is a guy that's a little bit on the smaller side. Um yeah, small doesn't mean easy. No, no, definitely not. But the big ones are kind of fun to see. Uh, and I'm using a hammer, which uh, the reason I, I went for a hammer is I can actually uh, charge up while I'm running around, um, which is pretty unique for the, the bigger weapons in this game. Um, and additionally, if I hit him in the head, he can get kind of dizzied, kind of that Street Fighter II stars around the head kind of thing. And... And it gives me an extra opportunity to, uh, you know, set him up for uh, for big attacks. Uh, I accidentally went into the other zone here. Um, oh, he got dizzy. Okay. I'm looking at your screen now, Dan. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Also, something to know about Monster Hunter is that it's not about, like, leveling up at all. There's really no experience to be had. It's all about getting better gear. Uh, and, you know, just... You can upgrade gear by finding these uh, these armor spheres and, and make it so that the, the defense is a little beefier and, and put, you know, kind of like Diablo-style slotted jewels into them. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really not about increasing your level at all. Um, you have hunter rank, but that's just sort of uh, denotates what level quest you have access yeah. to. Yeah. 
I mean, it does upgrade some other things, mm-hmm. like you can use different food and, and the vendors get different items as you upgrade your hunter ring. Yep. And now we're carving little bits off of this guy uh, that we could use to make some armor or weapons if we wanted to. Yeah, that was a really smooth run. Like, mm-hmm. that was a uh, hey, well played. You're running with me, Dan. That's right. I, I I actually know what I'm doing in this game now, which is uh is something I never thought that uh I'd say. And also, I really like the game. Um, I, I recently had to go on some long plane rides and like spent the entirety like you know eight odd hours straight just playing this game. And I got a Gormagala armor set that I'm pretty happy with. Um. Who is one of the big, big bads in this this go around? Mm-hmm. I guess he's he's new to the series and he's a real jerk. Um, are there any monsters that you need to kill? Are you working on any sets that we should we should go after a specific monster? Uh, yeah, we I need to kill D Moran quite a few more times, but I think he's a very long fight. Is so. he okay? Um, like you have to, it's like an airship battle where you like fire cannons at him and stuff like that. Oh, okay, gotcha. I know those ones. So all right, so now we're grabbing all of our our mats here. And it's cool because even your palicos will sometimes gather things for you. Um, so you get a little extra bonus at the end of the quest. Uh, and then, you you know, one thing that was just like a really clean look at a battle. But when you're not battling, you are just prepping for the next battle, which may mean sending your, your backup palicos out on an away quest or, you know, going to the item shop to pick up some some items that you had multiplied while you were in a quest or and the crafting just tons of crafting yeah tons of crafting or just even going back to the uh you know your chest and and restocking um it there's a lot of micromanagement in this game and it can be a little overwhelming at first but this game unlike a lot of the others in the series that i've played is way more forgiving for people that are that for newcomers um it actually explains to you what what you need to do, and uh, you know gives you a good rundown of how all the weapons work and and what have you. All right, I'm actually going to grab an extra trap tool and an extra net so that I can make a uh, a trap on the field in case I I blow it again. So I'd rather just not blow it. Okay, so that was that. Hunt. What was the name of? Uh, so we don't want to go after the one that that you need, just because it might take a little longer. It, it's a very long fight. It's like a three stage fight. Okay. Um, I mean, if you want to die, I can put us on something that will kill us. You want to die? That's, I mean, if you want to challenge, rather, a really what uh, will test us. What are you thinking? Uh, let me check. Let me check my quest here. Um, you going into the yeah, under rank three? HR four. HR four. You see, I don't even have that yet. I. I've been focusing a lot on single player, but I have up to three, and there's a there's a quite a few ranks. I think we can do, on. we can do an HR three one. Okay, whatever that you still think. should be tough enough. Uh, let's see. I don't know. What, I think I want hmm, the lightning tiger guy. Okay. You know which one that is? That's Zigore. Yeah, I think I think you got that right. Yeah, let's do that one. This should be tough significantly turf. more challenging. Okay. That sounds good. Don't forget to eat and get your buffs. Yeah, I used a uh, grand voucher, so you should be able to get a pretty sweet meal. Oh, really? Does that so that affects me, huh? I believe so. Yeah. Let's see here. Um. Nope. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. I always eat the same thing. It's just like real life. I go for the the <laughs> feline slugger boost, which increases the odds of me being able to kind of stun a uh, a monster by hitting him in the head with my hammer which I, I downright enjoy. Okay. So I think we're pretty good. Yeah, so on this one, I'm just going to try to find a ledge and snipe. Okay. He does destroy them, but... Um... Yeah, yeah, that's the cool thing. Is like There's more verticality in this game compared to the previous ones, and part of that is just being able to, to climb up there, and the monsters can actually uh, tear down parts of the environment. So it can be really like startling. You, you think that you're safely behind a pillar. Oh, yeah. And then suddenly they will come at you. Comes crashing down. Um, do you want me to grab the easy flash bombs? Yeah. You? Okay. I'm too busy like shooting stuff. Okay. I got everything I need here. Okay. And one other thing, sometimes you have to do ahead of time is eat some rations or steaks 
just in case your buff didn't bring you to full stamina. It's important to have full stamina, so that's something that drains when you run and, and uh, roll around and stuff like that, so... All right, I got paintball equipped, so when we see this bugger, we can we can go go right for it. I um, forget which screen he's usually on. Yeah, they do have their 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 reliable uh, screen they're usually hanging out in. Sometimes you can get a buff from eating that gives you like a kind of this premonition. You can get a quick yeah. ping and see which zone they're in. Um, Danny, you think there's anything else we should explain to people that are maybe like new to the series or? Oh man, there's there's so much. Like every weapon in itself is like a different game, so it's like yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, Damn it, I got knocked off. I hate those jerks. Yeah, you know the hammer is slow and and sluggish. You can't block, but you can run around and charge like you're talking about. You got ranged options like like Dan is using. Uh, another uh, weapon is the switch axe, which you can build up uh, this special energy meter by hitting people in axe form, and then you can transform it. Uh, it almost reminds me of uh, Bloodborne a little bit. Uh, you can transform it into a sword that's infused with energy to unleash some extra attack power. Or the There's the insect glaive, which is brand new, and that's a crazy Everything weapon. Sweet. Yeah, it's a really cool in concept. You kind of like send this little insect out at monsters to get like this, this stuff that will buff you up. Um, and uh, and then you can also use it like a pole vault to uh, to launch into the air and do like a flying attack on them. Yeah, each, each weapon like basically is like playing a whole different game. Yeah. So it's crazy like just, yeah. just learning the different play styles and oh. finding the weapon, that, oh. the weapon that's right for you. Oh, I think I can. Do I have an angle? I'm going to try. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I missed. Um, but yeah, something to, to note is Oh crap! I missed my paintball. I gotta get him. I'm, I'm doing a bad job with the paintball. Really bad job with it. I could always paint him up via the gun, but it's oh you can. It's a waste of time. Like it requires so much. Like, okay. Aim, you know. I got him anyway. Switch my ammo type. So, all right, yeah. The 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 combat is really really deliberate in this game. Um, you know the animations are very slow. Whether you're healing or winding up for an attack. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. This isn't a snappy, you know, devil may cry type experience or, or anything like that. You know, you can't cancel out of some animations. Um, so. you, you're very committed to your moves once yes. they're done. So is the enemy. So it's like, so, yeah, that can take some getting used to. Yeah. So, you know, just as you'll be vulnerable by, you know, sipping on a potion and flexing for some reason afterwards, you'll, uh, they'll, they'll have these crazy big attacks and, and they'll have their vulnerability, vulnerability window afterwards. And, you know, that's classic video game boss fight too. This is essentially this game is just essentially boss fight after boss fight. Yeah, with tons of loot. So it's like, yeah. man, that really does it for me. It's a it's a very very uh, you know addicting grind. Um, it really is. It's once you get once you get a hang of it, uh, which you know this game has been like sort of notoriously inaccessible uh, it's until this this iteration. Um, oh, I'm on him. I'm on him. All right. Are you? Are you? Okay, I am. Yeah, yep. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it took me a few hours to get into it, to be honest. And, you know, I'm rodeoing him right now, so it's all about, like, watching the body language of the monster. Like, he can, he'll start winding up for a roar, and when he roars, I have to just hold down the shoulder button. And then when he's kind of calmer, I can jam on the attack button. Okay, I got and him. I don't want to hit him during the rodeo, because if he triggers it like this, Makes we, him get, we get this huge vulnerability window. We can just just totally yeah. destroy him. Yeah, you know, here I'm, I'm focusing on the head, because I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can knock one of these horns off, which... Uh, might decrease his attack, but also importantly, drop a, a mat for um, crafting something that's based on his uh, his look and his his ability set. Um, and you'll notice I was in siege mode there, which like I can't move at all. But after a nice setup, it's a great way to unload tons of bullets into him. Nice. Yeah, I, I want to tinker around with the the range weapons a little bit more, but um, it's it's a, it's a completely different play style. I believe it. Did you like any of the melee weapons that? Like, yeah, I you found that without the, without the C stick though, I was having some real difficulty getting the monsters. I found the ranged weapons were more acclimating to not having that kind of camera control. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. It's all about locking in on the monster anyway. So, damn it, I missed him. I I, I think one of the most satisfying things I've done in a game in a while, and especially in this game, is is being able to land one of those jump attacks. Uh, on on the monsters and and stun them and mount them and stuff like that has just been fantastic. Yeah, the roadie is really cool, like especially like in a four way 
boss fight, you've got like four people trying to jump on them, and it's just like it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's important to note. Is like this game's best with friends. I think it's really good by yourself, and and the fact that you can play now for the first time uh, in a handheld Monster Hunter, you can play with just online it's not local only yeah, anymore. it is great it's really easy to drop into games like you can say i'm looking to hunt this monster and yeah then you, it'll show you all the games that are other people hunting that monster so it's like very convenient very easy to use and yeah honestly i haven't had any lag problems either yeah yeah it's 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 been really good with home connections uh and and then you know on top of that you have uh like the great local play which is what we have going on right now um super easy to use um all right. You know, I thought this boss was going to give us trouble, but I think we're just too good. Uh, yeah, he, I think he's got a pretty beefy, uh, you know, hit hit point pool. But like he, he's definitely given some of the groups that have. have oh, wow! Never mind. Oh, here I go. Oh, did he do a sort of like a back slam on he you there? Good. And I'm stunned. Okay. No health. Oh god. If, okay, and that's the other thing is that as a group you have three KOs total, so they're sort of like pooled lives. Um, oh man, that that move is devastating all right i'm gonna try to heal up here yeah as you can see i'm taking a breather from the battle here oh crap he's doing energy projectiles at me here uh obviously you know actually elemental weapons and and uh and statuses are really important to just as in any game that has like arch rpg elements in it and uh so I don't know what we would need in this situation. I I'm using water on him now. Water would be the thing. Okay. I, I don't even think that's his weakness, but you know what? I've got it. Hey, if it works, it I'm works. I'm able to siege mode water with this weapon, so it's pretty sweet. And every weapon is different, so. Did you knock something off of him? Was yeah, I did. The horn? Okay. I broke a piece off. We just happened to beat the subquest. Every quest has a subquest, uh, or most of them do, um, which is really... Oh, I'm on him. I'm on him. All right. Uh, which is a really cool way to... Uh, you can actually exit the quest if you want through that uh but it's a cool like alternative goal just to kind of focus on and give you a little bit of a yeah a group focus so like all right let's get his tail off there or whatever all right he's down all right i'm gonna wind up and slam away here yeah see like the, the, you just get so much time to just bang on mm -hmm. him if you do a successful rodeo especially you get four people on there uh he's drooling for sure so let's be conscious and see if he is uh limping as well i think he's got a little bit more health left but i think he's like he's really hurt <laughs> is that that's not a limp it's sometimes i don't it think it's a limp. my armor is supposed to detect it though like i have okay. trap whatever like just to let you know that they're ready yeah it's supposed to like give me a ding ping or something a ding think. ping that sounds yeah. awesome uh you, it, you bet your bippy it is <laughs> uh one of the best um indicators that they're ready to be trapped though like the easy one is they'll just limp back to their nest and yeah. that's the most obvious thing yeah but especially like trapping can be tough especially since these are dangerous creatures yeah, yeah, especially if it's down, you know, down to the wire, and you've already fallen a few times. But that tension of it coming down to like your last trap or whatever is okay. Just based on my ammo supply, he's got to be really close to dying. Okay, um, let me heal up here. And it's also important to know that you can play this like on the, the original 3DS or the new 3DS. The, the the benefits for the new 3ds again are the c stick and then also it does load quite a bit faster um it's uh it's really nice because there are a, a few quite a few loading sequences in the game but uh yeah i've i've really been enjoying the way it feels on the the new 3ds but you know we have a couple hardcore uh, at least one hardcore monster hunter fan uh the lay in uh game Informer's production department and she's She's totally fine without the, the C stick. You know, she's been doing it for years. Okay, I think this might be our opportunity. No, it's not. I think it might be. He, is your uh, your arm glowing yet? I uh, I think I heard a beep. I, it's really hard to pay attention, actually, okay. with all everything going on. I'm going to rail on him a little bit more. Oh, crap. Oh, he really hurt me. I got to get out of here. Uh, it, was, it took me some time to catch up. I'm bailing. Okay. We're just going to heal up, and then we can get back in there. And actually, um, another system we didn't really talk about is sharpening your weapon. Right, because uh, yeah, it doesn't apply to me. Right. For me, though, uh, you know, even my hammer has sharpness, and uh, it blunts over time. Um, it dulls, and then that can affect whether or not you can land shots, or it might just bounce off their hide. Um, oh, God. And, and you have a, if you have a weapon that allows you to block, like a giant sword, um, or great sword, then that will also decrease the weapon sharpness and it's just good to keep that up oof he's he's a hurting unit 
Let yeah. me hasten. Land- these stupid wyverns and raptors are messing me up. Let me know if you see anything about uh, the trap I, opportunity. I haven't seen it, but okay. I don't know. Maybe I have a piece in the unequip or something. Also important to know, this is Dan and I's first time playing together. It is. We've been. He got into it over the weekend, and uh, I'm happy that we, I got another person to uh, to hunt some monsters with. So, yeah, I think I think we're gonna have an opportunity here to lay down a trap and maybe take this guy home. It's kind of brutal if you think about it. Like you're just capturing him so that you can more efficiently dissect him later. Uh, is that ever explicitly stated? I don't know. If that's that's <laughs> what I think's going on there. I mean, getting so many pieces off this guy. I don't know. Are you just gonna rip a few scales and claws off of him and then let him back into the wild? Well, we are monster hunters. We're not. Uh... Oh, is this? You know what? Is it worth just maybe just laying one down? Just do it. Otherwise, he's gonna. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Oh no! I'm sorry. I shot one too many times. It's all right. You got, you got the the bloodlust, Dan. I, yeah, I you know s- it. See it in your eyes. It's berserker, you know. All right. So it's important. You got to sheath your weapon, and then you can carve and use items and stuff. Uh, so this was my first Monster Hunter that I really got into. Uh, the game does a great job compared to the previous games of getting you into it. That it's still. You're still going to have to do some research. There's still some stuff that's kind of unwieldy and systems that aren't explained that well or even stats that you're not even sure what they do. Um, so you're going to have to keep a wiki handy or, or grab a friend that knows what they're doing. There, there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a ton going on. But once you get your head around it, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited to play more with you, Dan. Um, and I, I am super excited. This is my first time with the series, so maybe that's yeah. why I like it so much. But yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, and if you want to know more uh, of, of my thoughts specifically on the game, uh, I reviewed it. Uh, reviews on the site. I gave it an eight seven five. Uh, Dan, you also wrote up a, a an little impressions something. piece about for entering the series. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I want to keep playing this. We just we took care of two two monsters with. We did. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. We should have taken on some harder stuff. Yeah, I think we might be a good team. Like we were just like you know trying to feel things out a little bit before we uh no we're getting to know each other as yeah, hunters here that's true. uh so yeah there's a lot more to it hundreds of hours here if you want to invest oh, yeah. into it so uh yeah thanks for watching test chamber we'll see you next time <laughs>